In spite of two late wickets, honours were just about even at the end of the first day of the LV County Championship match between Leicestershire and Essex at Grace Road, a day when neither bat nor ball could really dominate. Matt Boyce won the toss and didn't see anything in the surface to persuade him to do anything other than bat first, which would have probably pleased Essex, who were dismissed for 20 last time out. And for much of the morning, that appeared to be the right decision, as Niall O'Brien and Greg Smith had few problems against this very well-respected Essex attack, even though there was, again, plenty of cloud cover overhead. O'Brien has yet to really lay down a marker since his arrival at Leicestershire from nearby Northamptonshire in the close season, but for a while this looked as if it may be his day, especially when he was facing Graham Napier. The Irish keeper took on the all-rounder in one over in which he struck three consecutive boundaries, all very nicely timed shots through the offside. 20 overs passed by without a wicket in which this pair opened up the innings with a stand of 58. It was ended by Ryan Tender-Scarter, who got one through Smith's defences to have him LBW for 27. O'Brien and Ned Eckersley took their side through to lunch and then brought up the 100 before Eckersley nicked David Masters through to James Foster early on in the afternoon session. O'Brien was still there, however, and he was able to complete his third half century of the championship summer with this thick outside edge off the rather luckless Reese Topley. O'Brien had gone about his business in a mostly calm manner, reaching his 50 off 121 balls from which he'd hit seven fours, including those three in three deliveries off Napier. And the Irishman continued to enjoy facing up to Napier at this point. He's made plenty of starts this summer without really nailing down the opening spot at his new county. Now well in, this was his opportunity to get a monkey off his back. O'Brien did manage to get to his highest championship score as a Leicestershire player of 67, but that's all he got as Napier then wreaked his revenge by trapping the left-hander in front with a well-pitched up delivery. O'Brien departed at 148 for three in an innings which was crawling along at times. Indeed, this boundary for Joe Burns was his first and it didn't arrive until his 73rd delivery. Perhaps he was so thrilled to have finally found the rope, the Australian was out next ball, guiding a delivery from Napier into the hands of O.A. Shah after making 26. That gave Napier his second wicket, while Topley, as I mentioned earlier, had no luck at all. When Boyce somehow got this one over the top of the slips, the bowler sunk to his haunches with head in hands. Sometimes as a bowler, you simply have days like this one. Instead, it was Napier who struck again next to get shot of Boyce, the dismissal very similar to the O'Brien one 18 overs before. That left the hosts on 189 for five. With the sun out, and we don't know how long that will last in the East Midlands, the last session of the day was going to be a big one. It was now probably the best time to bat, with the ball now old and the pitch still a good one to bat on. Wickets now before the second new ball would have put Essex well on top but Shiv Thakur didn't allow that to happen. The youngster received some valuable support from Michael Thornley, who ensured that Tom Craddock's spell of leggies was short-lived by driving him over the top for a six. Given the way Thakur started his championship career last season as an 18-year-old and the way he's got this one underway, it's been a little while since he's impressed with the bat. He did hear, though, and this shot carried him to his fifth 50-plus score of the summer. It was the 11th time he's achieved that in only 18 first-class matches. Perhaps he was just thinking about the end of the day when he was run out by a combination of Jake Mickleborough and Foster. That ended a very useful partnership of 64 and left Leicestershire on 253 for 6, with Thakor gone for 54. Losing him was bad enough, but then the home side also saw Jigger Nake off a Napier at an easy return catch off the second ball he'd faced. That gave the bowler his fourth wicket on another good day for him this year. Masters, rather surprisingly against a side he loves bowling at, managed only one wicket, although he was unlucky not to add a second with the last ball of the day, which Ollie Freckingham nicked through the slips to the third man boundary. And that carried the total to a respectable, nothing more, nothing less, 268 for seven, which had been made in 94 tidy overs. Leicestershire will be hopeful of at least turning that into 300 plus. Thornley perhaps holds the key to that. 
He'll resume on the second morning, weather permitting, on 37.